Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we will be remaking the approval page. So I made an episode on this same topic, but I made a couple of mistakes here and there in the workflow. So here I am doing it again because a lot of people had issues. So as you can see in front of you, I have four inputs, which is username, email, password, and confirm password, and the sign up button. The input should be found here, which is input forms and you will find the button here so what you're going to do is after you created the inputs always make sure that your this input should not be empty it's always checked it should always be checked in the login page and always make sure that the contact is working so the format for email will be text the format for email the format for username will be text the format for email will be email the format for password will be password and the format for confirm password will be password too. So starting with the button, what we're going to do is double click it and start slash edit workflow. We're going to start by signing up the user by clicking sign up and input the input emails value and input input passwords value request a password confirmation which is input confirm passwords value remember the password so to add the email simply go to user add a new field username and should be text click create but i don't have to because i already have it here and same thing with approval just go here approval then it should be a yes or no then create and that's all you need to do for the for the data part so now starting with the workflow you're gonna have to go here after you're done filling all those up just go to user and it's gonna be input users value just like that now you're gonna have to log in the user as soon as they sign up just log them in but it's not going to take them to the home page. It's going to take them to the approval page because they're not approved yet. So log in the user, input emails value, input password value, email, just like that. Remember the email. Now go to page and go to the approval page. So I already made an approval page, just a small text, as you can see here wait for your approval so as you are done with the home page what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to workflow on the approval page you're gonna go to general do every five seconds and navigation go to page go to index and current user approval is a yes just like that so I'm gonna go back to the index page and we are done basically so what we're gonna do is it's gonna lock the user in let's see i'm gonna add another input uh, let's see input and create another input just like that create another button this will be my little email Time to email, and this will be my password. Just change that to password, just like that. All right. So, make sure that this input should not be empty. Same thing here. Now, change that to login. Oh, oops. And start added workflow. Go to account. Log in the user. It's gonna be, I believe, emails value. And should be, let me just change that so I don't get confused. It's gonna, we're gonna go here. Log in. Just like that. Input password value. Remember the email. Then navigation go to page 
gonna be home page and just like that so what do you, let's just test this give it a little test all right so we're gonna enter the user first it's gonna be demo demo com let's just make a demo one this time demo and demo sign up so as you can see it took us to wait for your approval what we're going to do is go to the editor go to data go to app data and it should show us the all right, so it shows all the users. It's gonna be the first one, demo one at demo.com. We're gonna edit that, set approval to true, and save. Now we have to wait five seconds for it. One, two, three, four, five, and automatically sends you to the index page. So we're gonna log in, demo one at demo.com and demo gonna log in and it sends you right to the home page just like that also as it's sending you to the home page you're gonna first go to the home page also here in the editor you're gonna go to home page go to workflow and every not five seconds but two seconds it's gonna navigate go to page it's gonna take to the index page if current user approval is a no so let's just update it and see if that works so in two seconds if i'm not approved it will send me back to the index page so we're gonna go to data again go to data and you're gonna click here set the approval to false and save now we have to wait two seconds and just like that it's going to send me to the index page because i'm not approved and that's it for this video i hope that helped you guys if you have any questions make sure to comment down below and also join my discord if you have any questions i have a link down below see you guys later peace